Hi guys, it's Ben with Aqua Arizona Windsurfing, Kiteboarding, and Wing Foiling Association. If you happen to be on Facebook, please do feel free, wherever you are, to join our community. So there is a new entrant into the ever-crowded uh, marketplace for inflatable wing foil board makers. They're known as Zeti, Z-E-T-T-I. Apparently they are out of the great state of Washington. And last week they sent me their new inflatable wing foil board to test out. They're calling it the Airship, and they sent me the 5 foot 3, 110 liter version. And today we are going to unbox it and take a look at what they sent. Okay, so one of the things that um, struck me almost immediately when I took um, delivery of the package was its size and shape. Um, compared to the more, um, you know, fully square, flat bags that say, for example, Gong or Fanatic um, pack their inflatable wing boards in, or even kind of more of a drawstring backpack type, like um, the original Nash Hover Air that I had um, came in. This one was, was much more rectangular um, and compact and I think more akin to say like the newer Nash style uh, hover air looks like something that's a little more rectangular, uh, packs up a lot narrower, and I think is uh, along with its cases just that much more conducive to to like real world travel. Um, so I think this was a good good design choice um, on on Zeddy's part. Also, despite being compact, the um, the case is fairly spacious, as you'll see here. It, it's um, there's even with the wing foil board in there and with the pump, there's um, seems to be more than enough room for a decent sized um, hydrofoil, um, unless you have like a you know a grossly large um, high aspect front wing or something like that. Okay, so we've now uh, opened this guy up, and we're going to take a look inside. Everything's very neatly laid out and individually wrapped. Um, and so, as you can see there, it comes with a, a set of three fins, three fins, three foot straps, excuse me, which seem to be, a, you know, fairly decent quality, uh, adjustable, it appears, foot straps. I don't particularly use foot straps in my wing foiling at least at this point in time so um, that it's not going to really mean much to me but it's still a nice touch to, to have. Um, it does come with a hand pump as you can see and I believe it's uh, if I remember correctly after looking at it um, high capacity and also just sort of it's basically like a two gear type uh, hand pump. It also comes with a, um, a bunch of uh, nozzle um, options um, depending on your particular wing which uh, is kind of a nice touch. Uh, pretty customary it includes um, a patch kit, um, a little you know the little doohickey tool to tighten up your uh, inflation valve um, as well as a bunch of tools, I believe, um, most likely are for the um, foot strap attachments. It's, um, it's not a D-ring type foot strap connection like, say, for example, the JP uh, wing board, but it is instead um, the, the uh, screw-in or bolt type um, foot strap attachments. It also comes with uh, your... Um, M8 bolts for attaching your foil mast and I will say that after riding on this thing the M8 bolts that they do come with they are um, the shorter type just because of the by virtue of the construction you can't use a you know a regular I believe like 25 millimeter or 20 millimeter is it I can't remember bolt because it would obviously penetrate the uh, the uh, inflatable material uh, comes with uh, either that's a ankle leash or a wrist leash for your for your board or for your wing, um, respectively. I believe it's probably more of an ankle leash for your board. Um, I use a waist leash myself uh, as well as a bungee leash for my wing, so um, this really isn't that 
important to me, but you know, it, it, it's still a nice coil leash. Okay, so as you see, I, I've sped this up, but I, I will say that uh, I've had a bunch of different inflatable wing boards, and this is probably one of the better packed wing boards I have um, had, if not the most well packed. To have it packed in this much bubble wrap, as well as um, that kind of uh, spongy, foamy, um, sheer paper material, um, that was pretty cool. Just to avoid any unnecessary, you know, scrapes or, or smudges or, or anything like that. Okay, we finally got this thing unwrapped. Um, as you can say, you see it comes with a pretty standard uh, uh, EVA deck in a diamond pattern. Um, pretty standard stuff. It comes with a, I'm a big top side handle guy. I don't, for various reasons, I don't like um, underside handles. Um, it's a long story. But anyways, it does come with a, a carry handle on top. Um, also, I noticed there is, uh, or you will notice that there is no kick pad on this board. So if I don't particularly, I'm short, so I don't, my stance doesn't ever get that far back to require a kick pad. But um, for those of you who uh, a kick pad is a must, that um, might be a factor for you. Also, um, you will probably have noticed there that, uh, um, as you saw with the foot straps, there are mountings for foot straps. Uh, adjustable um, configuration in a in a Y type setup. I also like that there uh, is a D ring under the nose in addition to the uh, standard one on on the tail on the top side. Um, as you can see here, it's a pretty good size carbon plate. I really like the um, design choice on that, and they um, uh, beveled it. I guess this would be the the word to make it more um, hydrodynamic um, as opposed to like squared off, which I think in my original gong was, was that way. I will say I really like the um, uh, centimeter markings on the, uh, on the, on the carbon plate. Um, they go a little bit further beyond like kind of just the usual hash markings that you've seen. It's probably actually some of the best markings I've seen, even compared to my regular compositor hardboards. As you can also see, as, as has become kind of customary now with um, the manufacturers that are using a carbon plate, they've um, cut out part of it to be um, designed as a carry handle. Um, honestly, and I have kind of small hands, and it, I found it to be kind of functionally useless. So I don't like underside handles as it is, but on top of that, these ones were were so shallow and without any kind of bevel on it that um, I, I think it'd be more useless to uh, to use it as a handle than, than have any benefit. Okay, so let's talk about um, some of the things I did not like um, or that might be um, drawbacks uh, to this particular design. Um, for one thing, the carbon plate, as you saw, does not go all the way forward or more forward to the point where um, your front foot might be positioned. Um, as I believe, I think the newer Nashes, I want to say, is at least one manufacturer that does that. Um, secondly, the undersides are rounded, um, fully rounded. There is no um, silicon you know, edge or, you know, rail that is glued to the bottom uh, uh, on the sides or at the tail or, you know, a hard edge even integrated into it like um, on the, uh, the JP uh, inflatable wing board. Um, also, with regard to foot straps, if you're not a foot strap user, you may dislike um, the, the bumps for the foot strap mounts. Um, the last thing I'll say is that the fit and finish overall was pretty good, but there was a bit of a blemish um, uh, where the two pieces of, I guess, PVC, well, I don't, whatever the material is on the exterior, um, met. It was a little, there was a part that was a little bit rough. Um, you know, not so much that it was like immediately noticeable, but, but still, 
um, you know, could probably use a little bit, a uh, little bit better QC there. Anyways, folks, that is the unboxing of the Zeti Airship. Do stay tuned for my upcoming video uh, field test and review of the board. Finally, if you found this video useful, we sure would appreciate it if you would hit like on this video below and subscribe to our channel. Until then, as always, this is Ben with Aqua wishing you good winds and happy sailing.